This is the Art Beauty Podcast, where we are always reaching for truth and beauty. Remember, the brands and the people on here are not paying to be here because we want to ask them the tough questions because you deserve to be informed so you can make the best choices for yourself. With that said, I'm Amber. And today, my fabulous co-host is Chris Gibson. He is a skincare expert, a holistic health coach, and of course, a fabulous YouTuber. If you've not checked out his channel, well, I mean, you probably have seen him on, on YouTube, but definitely make sure to go there because you have such incredible skincare advice. Um, Thank you so much for joining us today, Chris. Sure, absolutely. You know, I don't want to out you right away, but I feel like it, 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 we should state because you are very honest about your age. And when I found out your age, I was like, no way you're lying. Would you share with us? Because you look amazing. Well, I will be 60 in March. So that would make me 59 for five more months. <laughs> yeah, honey. Enjoy that. You know, you, you never want to rush it. It's funny. I always right up my now. age. And my husband's like, wait, you're not that age. And I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe if you start lying about being older. And people are like, oh, my gosh, you look so good for your age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I, I've had those accusations. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's interesting because you, you're you're a Florida guy, right? Um, so you're in a place that has a lot of sun, mm -hmm. but your skin looks amazing. Did you always have amazing skin? Were you sort well, of born with this? I grew up in Texas. I okay. had terrible skin as a teenager. And I had okay. a extremely advanced thinking dermatologist so in every little in every little crisis in your life there's always that silver lining and he was definitely a silver lining he was um taught me a lot of this base basic holistic things that i talk about today but truly sunscreen was one of the things he talked about because there was a myth in the 80s which was when i was there at that time um that the sun actually helped your acne. So a lot of us ran around trying to get some sun on our skin because it did initially seem to dry it up a little bit, didn't make it go away, but it seemed to improve it a little bit. Same myth for eczema and psoriasis. And uh, he was like, no, 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 no. It makes it worse. You get dry skin on your face, which traps more oil and blood, you know, so initially it may seem better, but then you're going to have a worse breakout later on. So I learned about sunscreen really, really early and started using it really early, like, you know, in my late teens, 20s. And my friends always like, hurry up, we got to go. And I'm like, and they're slathering on sunscreen. So um, not that anything can, not that anything can never happen where skin cancer is concerned. Um, but some of those friends, in fact, almost all those friends in my age group from back then have had to have skin cancers removed from them, yeah. uh, from their bodies. And I have not. Not asking for that universe, right? Right, right. No, 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 no. But, but, Knock on wood. You know, ta, ta, ta. Doctors mention that, that it's very odd that they don't find spots on me. So that's that's why. I mean, listen, we, we, you, for people who have listened to this, you know, it, it bears just repeating, you know, and you're hearing it right here from, from Chris and also from myself, SPF. Every day, oh, yeah. even indoors. Yeah. I'm wearing it right now. Windows are shut, you know. No, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It doesn't right. matter. I wear it every day. So find when you like. Is there one really quickly before we get into this um little device that we're gonna be talking about? Uh is there one that you like? An SPF that you love? Okay. This is a really I'll be fast with this, but this is a really interesting evolution for me. I did not like a lot of the chemical sunscreens because uh several of them were harmful to marine life um they were harmful to uh tests in labs not yeah. humans humans have not really had an issue with the sunscreen chemicals however because you know petri dishes and all that it the risk was there so i did mineral 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 now mineral sunscreens ugh, weren't so great the formulas are much better today i like hybrids so i like the sunscreen that's part mineral and just enough chemical to make sure that you're getting really good coverage. They really do provide the best with the lowest amount of chemical exposure. Um, they blend on the skin very well. So I've evolved. So what I say to people is that the skincare, the, the sunscreen you need is the one you'll wear. Yep. Amen. <laughs> you know, Amen to that. Yes. 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 The one yes. you'll wear. So. Well, well, which one do you wear though? Uh, I use, uh, there are several brands, uh, Dermatology, D R M T L G Y. They do all okay. the consonants. Um, that's a really good brand. L T N D, Versed yeah. Skin. Anything that's a, a hybrid. And what you'll see is they'll either say hybrid or in the ingredients it'll have zinc um, and titanium. And then usually 
uh, it's avabenzone. It's not yeah. the octanoxate or oxybenzone. It's the avabenzone, which is the least uh, problem so problem problematic pro problematic there we go yeah. problematic ingredient in sunscreens i'll say if you haven't tried taizo taizo is a really good one it is just a mineral but they've got really beautiful formulations um i haven't yet but now yeah. i will <laughs> yeah and, and and every day i use super goop i love super goop if i'm wearing makeup there unseen um is you know listen it's silicone based it's a great primer but Again, it's something that I will wear every day without yeah. fail because That's the thing. It's, you got to wear it. You got to wear it. You um, love it and wear it. So it may take some testing with sunscreen. But um, make sure you're doing it every yes. day. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Now you work in beauty. I've worked in beauty. I can't imagine what your house looks like. My apartment oh. sometimes looks like um, an Ulta, right? <laughs> so many things are sent to me. Um, and, and listen, a lot of them I share with you here uh, uh, listening. Uh, there's a lot that I don't. And I just want to start out by saying we are going to be talking today about the Cure Micro Infusion System. Yes. So... I'm going to let Chris really, who is an expert on this, and I and I found him by by reviewing by his Cure reviews um, and follow ups. Uh, I know you're a big fan of the product, but I have to say, so derma rollers. I, I'm I'm really mixed. I've had a lot of them shipped my way. Um, I know before people start sending me hate mail, I know a lot of y'all there love them. Um, to me, it was always a little concerning because it felt very imprecise. It felt like there was a lot of room for operator error. Right. Um, if you go on Amazon, some of those needle depths can be like, you know, it kind of extreme. Mm -hmm. w what are your thoughts on derma rolling? I've seen, you know. It works. Yeah. Okay. First, first of all, the, because the micro infusion is a version of that that we're going to talk about. It does work when done properly. The, the reason I get the grimacy face is uh, in my day, as an esthetician, as a master esthetician, you had to be licensed to even do that type of treatment on someone. This isn't a regular facial, you're piercing the skin. So anything that can pierce the skin and cause an infection is usually the, the demarcation and esthetician's level of ability or what they're able to do. And it varies by state. Not every state's that way. There are some states where you can be, um, I don't want to say a regular esthetician because it's hard work, no matter which way you go. Uh, <laughs> So not to downplay that, but it's, a, they can do it. You need to be trained. The problem is what you just said. Unless you have the map that an esthetician has either in their head or on the screen or actually on your face, um, it's easy to miss places. It's also easy to misjudge pressure. There's a lot of uneven pressure with this type of device because it's determined on what you do. And there is the overall tendency of humans uh, especially in skincare to overdo things. Yeah. So how do you know when you've done enough? You know, you can do too much. Um, you can do too little. Just so the results can be mixed um, and not give you quite the benefit that you're you're looking for. There are people who've mastered it. You know, they've gone online and watched the videos or they've gone in office and had treatments, which is usually what I recommend. If you're going to do them at home, go get a professional treatment from yeah. someone so that you know how to do it, you know what they what they look for. There's the sterility issue, you know, making sure everything's sterile, uh, which the microinfusion thing is that's one of the advances with that. Um, I much prefer stamping for home yeah. use, which is going to give you similar results without being able to tear the skin. I have torn my own skin with a derma roller. Yeah, because I got in a hurry. I mean, yeah. I'm cute, just like everybody else. I needed to get that treatment in. I was doing it at home. And I had this deep, yeah, and I I drug it too fast. And I had, <laughs> it looked like, like little... cat scratches all the way down. Of course, this is before I was on YouTube. So I'm like, I'm sure glad I didn't do that when I had to get on camera. Although I would have told on myself because I tell on myself all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the danger. And those marks and some people can leave a scar. Yeah. And post, you know? yeah, post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to cut you off. I want to make sure we have plenty of time to talk about the cure because my, my point is, is that I, I when I think about advices and or, or devices and some of these things at home, and I think that there are wonderful at home devices. One of the things I always think about is that, of course, we've got ranges of people who are skincare experts, but I always like to think about like, you know, the woman out there who's talking to her 13 year old daughter, who's going to go online, see something, see all these TikTokers doing it. And is that the right thing for them? Now, maybe 13, you're not 
you you, you don't you, 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 you don't but but you, yeah. you know what i'm saying but you know it, yeah or for somebody who's a newbie who sees this great device to me it, i i can't personally get behind the um the derma rollers because i think that there's just too much room for like you said for for incorrect usage for right. um for sterility being the biggest one right like how are you really cleaning that so yeah. when this device which is the cure micro infusion system came upon my desk i I was like, huh. And then I watched your videos. Um, people, if you've heard of Dr. Lee, it's two dermatologists who yep. actually got on and endorsed this as well. And I was like, you know what? I'm willing to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk all about this. Um, but to start, because I know you're such a fan of this, tell us a little bit about what micro infusion is. Okay. It, as I said, it just sort of delivers the same, well, doesn't sort of, it delivers the same results as a derma roller, but it is actually stamping the skin rather than dragging anything across it. So there's a lot more control. The needle depth is set. You can only press so far. You're not going to be able to go too far with it. Um, I like the fact that the needles are gold and that yeah. they, so they stay sterile, even if you get a little messy with it and you, they're, re, they're, they're tossable. So they are exchanged every time you use the device, you put a new topper on it. Yep, I have I have mine right here. Two right here. No, can you see so, that yeah, there? So yeah. these little these little needles. Um, I mean, I, I'll I'll have a I'll have an image of this because I'm I'm looking at this and they're so tiny. They're they thinner are. than a human hair, and they're only what 0.5 millimeter right. exactly. long. So you can like barely see them. I'll put a close up photo in there so that you guys can so, see what we're talking about. But and that's important because the layer of skin that we all see is a dead layer. And you need to be able to get past that. We talk a lot about exfoliation on my channel because it's such a, a, a very important piece of an anti-aging skincare routine, anyone, any skincare routine, because with that skin sitting on there, it blocks products. It helps contribute to fine lines and wrinkles. It gives your pores that large look, textured skin. All of that comes from a buildup of that dead skin. So in addition to exfoliating a couple times a week, you know, every couple of weeks, this type of treatment is going to get a prescription grade, but they really are. These are dermatologist developed serums. Um, I think the one I have today in here is beta glucan, but anyway, it um, is able to penetrate and get just under that layer where it can be absorbed into the skin and do some work. So it's extremely, extremely important to be able to do that to get results. So it's a lot of times when people try products, uh, they don't see the results they were looking for. A lot of times exfoliation, that dead skin layer is in the way. So, yeah. and again, the, the sterility issue is taken care of. And also the fact that you're not drag, I guess you could drag it if you wanted to, but it's less likely to do that stamping the skin. And it's easier to map out where you've been. Right. Because the device leaves the liquid also on the surface of the skin. Whereas a derma rolling, a lot of times people do it and then apply their product. Right. So, so this is leaving. So your skin is actually damp where you've been. So it does kind of help you make sure you get everywhere. Yeah. But I know you and I had talked before and we're both like, it'd be really cool if they could do some sort of like a map that you could put on your face yeah. to make sure that you're getting right. So essentially, um, you know, because I was actually really impressed with this. You get a kit like this, right? And, and it comes with, now I, I've only done this once and you can do this treatment every two weeks. Yeah, so my I next do. one is coming up Sunday. And trust me, I, I was really impressed after the first one. So I have it now on my calendar. Every two weeks, I'm going to be doing this. Um, but you come with six serums. You get right. this stamping device. And then you get these disposable tips to yes. use with each one. So let's talk about this device. Because when I first saw it, I was like, wah, wah. I mean, it's it, it's like a little baby. It, I was like, is this really going to deliver? I mean. Yeah, it's tiny. It's tiny. And and, but it's and the video I did, the video I did on that, I think that's what I called it. Tiny device really delivers a powerful <laughs> skincare punch or something like that. And it is small, but by design, it's designed to deliver just the right amount of, you know, just the right amount of serum into the skin. So you're always going to have some left over that you can use. I use it on, I put a little extra, I use it on my neck, I use it on my hands, wherever. Um, because there is always a little bit, there's more than enough to treat your face in there. Um, and you know, I don't like the size fool you because the next, 
the next morning when you get up is when you notice the difference as yes. that serum as I do mine in the evening before I go to bed because I want to take advantage of the skin's repair cycle overnight. Um, and the stuff is, is your, your face looks really great. Um, what it does initially is because it tricks your skin into thinking there is some damage that's really not there because it's just the surface layer. It does tend to firm and plump up your skin. Um, you know, so your skin feels plump and that lasts two or three days. It lasts longer, the longer you use the product because right. you're building up more collagen as you go along. But, um, yeah, it's, you're getting a salon or an, an office, as I call it, grade treatment with that serum because the serums are designed to be used um, to actually give you the most benefits for collagen building and hydration. So, you know, they're the beta glucan and then they have the uh, growth factor serum. So right. alternating those every two weeks, you know, I always say take a selfie when you start, take one at 30, one at 60 and one at 90 days. You really do see a progression of improvement, especially in evenness. You know, as we get older, I don't want to say the face tends to get lumpy, but the fat loss and bone loss that happens is in everybody a little unequal. Yeah. So we see that sort of modeled look kind of where this is, you know, it does tend to even all those areas out over time because again, you're, you're activating the skin to create more collagen where it needs to and helping to preserve the collagen and elastin fibers that you already have. So yeah, it's a really great tool. Like I said, the science behind the clinical science behind dermarillers work. I mean, they even help with hair loss uh, because they kick in the body's own uh, repair system. Those repair cells, stem cells, um, are activated. So you're, be, you're able to do that with a stamper without having that issue or risk of, you know, ripping and tearing the skin and bleeding. I, I haven't bled with that device once. Whereas no. derma rollers, derma rollers, because skin is not evenly thick. Yeah. Even if you got the pressure right, a lot of times between the nose, around the mouth, you'll have a little bit of blood droplets because of the piercing mechanism because the skin's thinner there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and especially under the eye area, you know, right. I'm wondering, can you, um, demo for us? Because I do think that this is so important as is with any at-home devices to, to learn how to use it properly. Um, so I'm wondering sure. if you wouldn't mind kind of showing no, us on camera, um, yeah. and we can chat while you're doing it. Yeah, sure. So we've talked about the, I've already prepared this one and it has the serum. This is the beta glucan serum. Um, okay which is the the plumping serum. The growth factor really, really works on the area of, um, you know, collagen building. This is going to be hydration and strengthening the surface layers of the skin. The needles are sterile. It's a new top. I always tell everybody to start by stamping the top of your hand. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. And to get a feel for how much liquid is going to come out and the actual feeling of the needles on the skin. It's going to be right. very similar. So once you've done the back, a few on the back of your hand, you know what to expect. So you don't have that. Ugh, what I want is to just that? put something quickly. So, so the serums come separate than this yes. little vial. And you essentially, you pour the serum into the vial. Um, as you mentioned, they have two different serums, a beta glucan and um, an, right. an EGF uh, right. serum. You can actually mix them, correct? You can, you yes, you can. What okay. I do when I do that, I take half and half and I put the cap back on those serums and refrigerate them. Because oh, they've been smart. exposed to air, um, just so they stay fresh. Okay. I mean, that's an old in office. That everything we did was in the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> it went on yeah. the skin. It was cold. It was refrigerated. Yeah. So you would simply take the device and just stamp, kind of overlapping stamps. And I'm going around my eye, which is typically the most tender place that you do this. Never on the eyelids, <laughs> obviously just around the eye, the crow's feet area. And I see as I'm going a, an arc outward and I'm overlapping those stamps. So I'm gonna pat that in. So your skin usually turns a little bit red. It sometimes lasts until the morning, yeah. um, but it doesn't hurt. Well, I mean, okay. Press, you know, I, I mean, I feel it, but to me it doesn't hurt. And I'm not, I'm not a fan of needles. 
in any way. Yeah. And, and so, I, you know, we keep it real here. I, I have to tell you, it, it's 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 not exactly a pleasant feeling because you're no. you're piercing your skin, but it's very tolerable. Yeah, um, and me, I'm used to it. So, yeah, you know, you're used it to it. Does, and I don't also notice men have, it as much. Men have thicker skin than women. Um, so for me, when I did it, I was pink afterwards, but maybe for 20 minutes tops. Like yeah. it was really not a big deal. And then the next morning I was like, oh man, I should have yeah, done this. I told can, you, I, I had a big event to go to. Yeah, you can see here. What I think is really important too is that when you were stamping and watching you do this, is it was very gentle. You're not oh, yeah. like jamming no. this in. Yeah, you're not knifing your skin with this. Yeah, you just want to. You want the needles to just pierce the very surface, and they're so short, you'd have to really press hard <laughs> to go any further with that. Um, but you don't. It, there is no pressure. It's light and overlap, light and overlap. And I like to start close and move outward. Some people like to start, you can start anywhere you want with this. Some folks do the forehead first. Um, that's usually the last for me, but I always start on both. I start on one side and go outward, one side and go outward. Then I go upward and then I start in the middle of the forehead and I go outward. That's old esthetician training, you know, center out, down, up. <laughs> you know, yeah, you sure. Up, up and out, up and out. I never down and, you know, up and out. So I sort of follow the same um, technique. Um, and I always make sure that I've used quite a bit. I will be honest here. I usually have enough. I do my neck yeah, because you can use it on your neck. The trick, the neck is tricky. Um, I actually lie down to do mine and I turn and then I turn and then I sit up and I do the back. Uh, cause guys really get the aging on the back of the necks. Cause we have had short hair most of our lives and even as good as I was with skin uh, sunscreen. I was not always good about getting that. So I don't look bad. I don't have the deep leathery look, but this is a great treatment for sun damage. So I make sure I get that part too. Anything left over again, I just massage it in wherever I need it. You can use this on the back of your hands too. Yeah. Again, just lightly, you know, it's, it's really wherever you want to see that benefit and they give you a generous amount of serum generous i had it's so much left yet over to when run I did out it. when I, yes i have and, yet to run out <laughs> you know an, an important thing too so um that i want to make sure that we covered when you pour the serum in here you want to turn it upside down and leave it upside down for two minutes um and don't just start seeing because when i first did it and i immediately started seeing because i'm bad like that i'll just get something and not read the directions and not oh, you're excited and I, like, no, I want to do it <laughs> let's do it and it was very clear so that the serum can sort of start to infuse through those needles right um and then the other thing i want to make sure that we're very clear about this that's the time when it's sitting upside down wash your face wash your hands yeah. this clean has skin, to be done on always. very clean skin yeah yeah yeah, um, I'll take. Yeah, I I usually do this after the sh the evening shower before I retire. I put it in there, turn it upside down, take my shower, come out, and then I do that treatment and I go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's which is I great. Do. And then, like you said, you're taking advantage of your sleep. You're not your skin's natural um repair you know, cycle. sleep repair cycle, yeah. which is great. Mm -hmm. So they make these serums to go with this, and after each one, you dispose of the old tip. You put a new, so this is actually a new tip on here waiting right. for my next treatment. Um, where in terms of like using other products, can you do this? So should you not use things like a retinol or a glycolic acid I beforehand? I don't do, I, I have my normal routine morning and night. The day of this, I have my morning, then I have the cleansing for the evening and then I do that and go to bed. Okay. Um, there's no reason you can't apply technically anything else i just like to allow the serum i, I use tretinoin so, yeah and it's very strong i've been yeah. on it a while so mine is pretty strong. so i'm a little hesitant to try to use tretinoin over the when i've had i don't yeah. need that much tretinoin's very has its own ability to be absorbed it doesn't need help that's why it's so effective um but it will make your other products work better the next day okay you know because you've you've opened up the skin uh to receive those to receive those ingredients. So that's what I do. Um, you could use a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. You could use a night cream. Nothing's going to hurt anything. Yeah. Um, you know, for a lot of the people who watch me, I talk about capping moisture at night. You could still do that. Use a, uh, a moisture mask product. There's a million of those out there slugging for the yeah. lack of a better word. You could do that um, on top of this. There's no reason you can't. 
Um, I just prefer, it feels refreshed. I know that the serum is, I can feel it and my skin is hydrated. I just allow it to work that way. Just easier. Really quickly on that, you know, an interesting thing that I actually, that I learned from watching your, your channel, can you tell us a little bit about beta-glucan? Because I think that it's not as well known as something like a hyaluronic acid. Well, it's, you know, when we talk about all these, we talk about polyglutamic acid and we talk about uh, hyaluronic acid and, and I would, I guess I would put the beta-glucans in the same type of set. Um, different salts and sugars are, have a different effect in the surface levels of the skin and beta glucans able to get in that connective tissue, hold moisture there while your cells are able to actually absorb it. And it's actually nutritious for right. that layer of skin. So I think the big difference is hyaluronic acid is a salt. Um, it pulls moisture in, but it can pull moisture out <laughs> if you yeah. live in a dry climate. It, so I always recommend people use a, a product that it's mixed with, you know, dimethicone and glycerin and other humectants. Um, and it works just fine. It needs moisture to work, whereas beta-glucan does not need right. that. It does okay. not. That's the big difference. But I yeah. mean, it's going to give you longer term hydration deeper in the skin. Right. That's what I guess the way to talk about. So this is every two weeks. Um, you know, like I said, I had a big event coming up and I, I, I was like, and I will stress this, never do a new treatment right before a big <laughs> event. That said, when I woke up the next morning, I was like, shoot, I should have done this one right before the big event because it, my skin was the next day radiant. Amazing. Really, really look, had a beautiful like, glow. Wow. Um, who, who would you say, you know, look, you've got beautiful skin. Look, we're all, we're all aging every second of every day. Um, but, but who would you say that this is really good for? I think, you know, I'm a big proponent of people starting skincare early, not in your teens. Right. I mean, unless you have acne or something and you're dealing yeah. with that. Um, 30s, um, you know, 30, I have a lot of folks in my circle that are a lot younger than me, just because I look and act so much younger. I guess I don't know. Um, but uh, they had the same questions. You know, when should I start this? When should I start that? You know, I, I put them off Botox for as long as possible because, you know, you're weakening a muscle and it's going to, it's going to shrink and be weak and you're going to get little, those little baggy things that people have been using Botox forever get. Um, Botox is good later, you know, but these type of treatments are going to maintain the youthfulness of your skin. You're going to keep the nutrition in those layers. Of course, I talk about fitness and nutrition too, but, um, but yeah, a thirties, I'd say you kind of have to watch and see everybody's genetics and their environment's a little bit different. If you're noticing that those dynamic wrinkles that we make when we smile are starting to stick around. Some folks that's in their late twenties. Yeah. I would start then. Basically I would look and see when I'm starting to see these lines that don't go away. That's really your, your indicator of, of that. And then of course, if you use sunscreen and you exfoliate and that's starting in your twenties, if you're exfoliating once or twice a week or using glycolic acid, and, you know, it's salicylic acid to keep that skin cell renewal and turnover going, and you're using sunscreen, you're not going to need to do a whole lot till you're in your 30s, maybe even 35. 35 is when I noticed I needed to up my game. Yeah. So that gives you some idea. 35 you know. is when I started Botox for the first time. Yeah. So um, that, and that's fine. It's these folks, I had no folks in their mid 20s off these Botox parties. And I'm like, mm, no, you don't do it. That you know, it's crazy. It, right, yeah. So I've noticed, and I don't know if it'll come up here sad thing about Botox. I started to notice after my last Botox treatment that my forehead veins were really more pronounced and they were like, well, it could be that your skin has been thin and you know, because you're not making the muscle there, like maybe that's becoming more pronounced. And I was like, damn. Yeah. That's the one drawback to Botox is that it's, it is like any muscle, your subcutaneous muscles and fat under your skin or what keep everything like in place. Yeah. Um, it can have different effects on people. I mean, we saw that, you know, a lot of people jumped on Botox early in the eighties, Madonna, I used to use her as an example, not to pick lover, but when she got in her fifties, she had these lumpy, if you go back and look, um, you can see these lumpy areas just under the, that's a muscle. And um, she was a big user of Botox. So she's talked about that a couple of times. She pulled back on the Botox, you know, you had to add some work done, some filler to like fill that back out. Um, so it's just one of those things you have to judge what your 
how you want to look and what you're happy with. I like a little character on my face. I don't yeah. want to go back and look 20. I no. had a ba- I had that baby face thing. I, I heard that honest, all the yeah. time. I'm like, no, oh. I think I look better now than I did when I was 20. Like I was yeah. a little fatter then. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's also you just have that confidence and that wisdom. Yeah. But I, I yeah. actually think I look better today than I did in my 20s. Yeah. Also, my 20s were wild. <laughs> these treatments we have, you know, the red light therapies, yeah. the stamping, people are able to do things in the home for a lot less money than they used to have to go spend a ton of money for in office. So I'm all for it myself. I can't believe I forgot to say this. Oh my goodness. Everybody listening. And I will have this in the show notes. Um, I did reach out to cure and they are going to do a discount code for us, but I do know they're running a great promotion. Um, for Black Friday, I think it's 21% off through November 27th. Um, but after that, if you use the code Art Beauty, all one word, 10% off is like good indefinitely. How much is this system though, right? So you were talking about this and and can you also like, how much is an in-office treatment? Like all right, so hundred bucks. I, I, oh yeah, easily. I always say the average is about 300 depending on where you live. I mean, here in Florida, those things are way more expensive because it's way more popular to go in and have stuff done. Uh, yeah. It's like LA. <laughs> it's the yeah. same thing. Or New York. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so two to three hundred dollars per pop. And you're gonna have to go in every two weeks. You you know, dermal rolling is not a one and done. Red light therapy, laser therapy, all therapy, radio frequency, none of those are one and done. All of those are now in home therapies through devices that you can use. Um, this one, you know, it's gonna run you depending on their whatever they have going on. Cause they, like you said, they have stuff going on all the time. They bundle these things and they try to make it inexpensive, but you can figure around two, two fifty for this type of a kit. Um, but that's including serums. Yeah. I think right you're now getting, it's like a hundred, I think getting, right now it's like $169. Right. You know, yeah. 12, 12 serums, you know, 12 weeks worth of Serum. treatments. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's you know, every two weeks. There's six of them in the kit. You know, that's three months. So and do like the math. Too, after you've done your face. So we do the face three times over, right? So you do it two to three times. Then maybe think about doing that because you're going to have a lot of serum left over. And I wish I yeah, thought about this. Do. Then the neck. And then I love the idea of doing the hands. Yeah, my hands are in really good shape. I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> I, I get that in public all the yeah. time. They're like, what did you have? Nothing. I've just taken really good care of them. Yeah. Exfoliation for guys. Mostly, you know, I tell the story when I, one of the things I knew I was going to be in skincare early on, I was probably 11. This is before I had the acne issue. And I remember going to church with my grandfather and he was a deacon. This is in Texas in the church. And I had to shake those old men's hands (laughs) and they were so gross. They were thick and hard The skin was dry and just, I hated it so bad. So I made an internal vow back (laughs) without even knowing what I was going to be doing with my life. I will never have hands like that. I don't care what I have to do. That is disgusting. It's like the elbow thing on guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, no ashy elbows. No, no. So, so I got that mm, early on. Yeah. (laughs) I got the message early on. This is great though. I mean, I want to thank you so much. Sure. I mean, so you've you've used this system now for how long? Oh, almost a year. I, a I, year. We were talking about that. I can't remember. I do so much that when things come out, I just know it's been a part of my at least a year. At least a year. Okay. And you feel almost like you've noticed. I think a year, I think a year in December is what you've noticed is. some serious. Oh yeah. Anything yeah. that I continue to do after testing it out, I'll test something for three months, 90 days, because that's you yeah. know, again, I do the the selfie. If it stays in my routine, it's good um, because I'm seeing some results. And, you know, I look at a lot of products. Yeah, same. As you said, your house looks like QVC or something on the inside. It's like <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. I give it away. I don't do it at Christmas because that's just cheap and everybody knows that's what I'm doing. But I do giveaways on yeah. my blog and I try to get rid, you know, not get rid of it, but it's good stuff, but it's more than one person could ever use. Could this ever I would use. not give away. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, me, something, no. and, and this is what <laughs> you can see here. And like, we keep it real here. 
like I've said, a lot of things come across my desk and I'm like, nope, not doing it. This was one that I was like, oh, right. after doing the research and seeing people like yourself, I'm um, seeing those two doctors from Dr. Lee and Dorset. I was like, oh my goodness. And then when you see the before and afters, I mean, especially with people who have had um, acne damage, um, it, it really, after- Which is something I had. Years, I have acne scarring. You can't even hardly see it. It's it, so. it's really, really incredible. Hey, Chris, um, you know, if people want to get this, I believe it's Cure. Is it CureSkin.com? Cure Skin Care is the... Oh, I mean, just cure. It. Com. <laughs> or is it Cure? Oh, boy. Whoops. Hang on a second. Let me just and see here. So Cure with a Q, not a yeah. C. Q-U-R-E dot com yeah, you can go there that. remember with the code art beauty after the 27th because get that 21 percent now they'll be 10 percent off but if people want to know more about you if they want to watch your incredible videos where should they go just youtube and put in chris gibson or chris gibson live the channel is chris gibson live but if you put my name in but what if i tell people pick your worst skincare issue put chris gibson and that issue and you'll get you'll right to the videos it. those videos will come right up so and you know, I, I you know I forgot to mention this at the top, but we've got Black Friday coming up. Um, it's Thanksgiving this Thursday. So really quickly, is there something um, that you are thankful for that you want to share with everybody? I this year has been phenomenal for me in the channel, so I'm extremely thankful for my reach um, and the things that I'm doing now. I you know I just got featured in OK Magazine, which was huge. I was like that was a shock. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm very grateful for, this is like my third act of life. I think yeah. I'm like, I'm going to be 60. Um, I've done skincare stuff before, wrote a book back in 2000. So did that same thing back then. And then here I am doing YouTube again. And it's, it's the same, but better. Yeah. Because we have so much new to talk about in anti-aging and skin health. I really like anti-aging. It's kind of healthy skin looks as good as it's going to look at any age. So right. there's, pro there's aging. your anti aging, pro aging. I really, really, really glad that I'm here talking about this now. This passion has evolved into something even I mean, bigger than before. And, and I got to say it the proof is in the pudding. Your I skin. walk my talk. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I, think I walk my talk. <laughs> You sure do. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on with us today. Um, and please make sure you go check out. He's got such incredible content. You do have a great thing on derma rolling, so I know you're a fan of it. Yes. Um, and you had an incredible before and after of your hands, but eh, I'm a meh. But I would say yes to this. Um, yes. Thank you. If everybody has questions, if you have things that you want me to pass along to Chris, I'm always happy to do that. If you've got questions about the experience of Cure, you can write me at hello at artbeautypodcast.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Art Beauty. I want to say have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I, I am so grateful to every one of you who has stuck with this and listens. Um, so just sending you so much love. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time this holiday weekend. And and, you know, if you need some Black Friday shopping, this is a good gift. This is a good one. Yeah, it is. For yourself or someone else. <laughs> For yourself. Yeah, listen, don't forget to treat the messenger. That's what my dad always said, That's right? Got to exactly take care already. of number one. Chris, thank you yep. so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful, happy Thanksgiving to you. You too. And we'll see you next Tuesday, everybody. Bye.